It's here, Hello, guys. People, uh, welcome to the beginning of yet another fabric haul vlog. We are in August. Today is August the third. It's Tuesday, the third of August, and I'm really excited because something that I ordered two weeks ago has finally arrived all the way from Milan, Italy. Milan, the capital of fashion, and it's arrived via DHL. Um, and it is some Cupro Bembeg lining. Now, I already have the white lining of which i bought a 25 meter roll about five years ago and it's been a really great investment so i was like i need a darker color for when i sew with darker fabrics and so i decided to get the midi gray so i had to pay uh, 39 euro in postage and packaging in order for them to use dhl i was quite lucky this time i didn't get caught with um, having to pay the customs and taxes because currently for me it's about 50 50 50 percent of the parcels will get uh, charged and 50 percent uh won't so that's been really good the postage and packaging was super quick so as i said i ordered this um two weeks ago and it would have arrived earlier but i forgot to put in my phone number and so they kept on trying to send me an email to say give us your phone number so that we can dispatch it and then when i did they sent me the dispatch notification four days ago to say that it's been dispatched and that it was arriving today and it has arrived and i am so happy about it so let's open that up so as i said i already have this it's um in white and i use it a lot so whenever i'm saying i lined it with cupro that's the one that i'm talking about and they do over 200 different colors of this particular one you can buy it by the meter or you can buy by the 25 meter we've got an audience today <laughs> obviously because they're not yet allowed on screens or anything like that until later on um it's a beautiful day outside we tried sitting outside but but the perfume that i'm wearing today which is kissed by Rihanna. And it's a really lovely, sweet, very, very saccharine sweet perfume, which I think is really perfect for very, very hot days like this. Has just been attracting the bees and the wasps. So each time I was just sitting outside, they were coming up to me. So I actually have to go take a shower after I've done this and put on another perfume because it just got to a point where it was just very uncomfortable. But here we go. The kids are also dying to see what's in this because they're like, oh, is it a giant Viennese uh, biscuit? <laughs> right, here we go. Uh, okay. Yeah. I ordered the mid gray uh, colorway. And as you can see, this is the 25 meter roll which is actually covered over in the plastic and they've given me i think like a sample or a spare to sort of like um, check but yeah that's what we have so this is 25 meters of the 100 percent cupro bamberg and it's the gray colorway and again as i say this is such a great great investment especially if you do a lot of lining um with your stuff so here so this is color 846. Yeah, this is so smooth and so nice. So when I do the calculations for how much it costs me per meter when I get it in the 25 meter, it works out as something like five pounds per meter or six pounds per meter, which is a lot cheaper than getting paying up to about eight or nine pounds per meter for it. And at least I have it in my uh, haberdashery at home and I don't have to try and order piecemeal whenever I do it, so I definitely prefer it. So now I'm covered for when I sew with light color fabrics and when I sew with dark color fabrics. So yeah, so the company is called Pignotti and they're based in Milan. And if you're lucky enough to live in Europe, of course, the postage will be cheaper. They do post internationally, even to America and Canada and places like that, but it is at cost. But as I said, if you do do a lot of sewing, then these might be a good investment and you've got the space uh, for it obviously meanwhile my son is trying to show you this uh, fuchsia Michelle, see? yeah so we're gonna uh, spend the rest of the day continue with uh, doing a little bit of work and uh, we might go outside uh, later on, uh, our little hedgehog, our little baby hedgehog has been hanging around in front of the cherry tree, which is so cute and so adorable. So I'll put footage 
um, of that. We've decided to call it Helga, Helga the Hedgehog. And yeah, she's a lot of fun to watch. We don't know how to tell the difference between a male or a female hedgehog. We're just assuming because she's so cute and so adorable. So we're putting loads of footage of that. I don't have any plans to go into the sewing cave uh, today. So just gonna see. It's 20.7 meters on here and then 4.3 meters on there coming up to 25 uh, meters and so that's what they have created and it's also called Bemberg which is a really really great fabric. Um, because it's a really hot day I'm wearing my Grassa 417 uh, top with my veggies <laughs> over there um, and it's just nice and cool in a cotton. This is the white one and this is the grey one. So go like that. And they live in here. It's now August, so I sadly have to say goodbye to this a beautiful image. And let's see. Ooh, so this, this is, is August. the August one. And it's a beautifully done 50s dress. I love the collar and the cuffs. Hello, it's Monday the 23rd of August today. We've got two more weeks of the holidays and I have some fabric to show you because I was away in Essex and then we went camping in Scotland and when I came back there were loads of packages from all different sorts of places to do with the fabrics that I had been buying so I'm quite excited to show you uh, those ones uh, today over here. The house is a bit of a mess because it's summer holidays and there's just a lot of stuff going on. Um, and I haven't been able to get into the sewing cave, sadly, uh, but I knew this anyway going in that August was going to be very tricky for me in terms of sewing. But I'm hoping that uh, by the end of this week, things will have settled down a bit. I'll have cleaned up the house and finally packed away all the camping stuff. So you can see over there, those are still some of the camping kitchen stuff that we're sorting out, upgrading and replacing. Yeah, so needless to say, it has been quite busy. But one of the first things that I'm so, so excited to show you is, um, you know, from my merch shop, I've got the Better Song Than Perfect um, mugs, which I absolutely love. If you want a mantra to remind you to not get too fast with perfectionism and just focus on improving a little bit, a little bit with each uh, project, I have these. But I've also uh, designed some new ones with the help of my sister, who's a graphic designer. And I've got a floral range. So this one is the Pockets at Everything, which I ordered and it arrived from Teesprings and it comes really well packaged. I wish I hadn't thrown it out, but it comes really well packaged in this um, like really fortressy cardboard box kind of thing. And I love, love this so much. The Pockets at Everything. And then the other one that I have right now is the Happy Sewing Mug and it's got the blues and the pinks. Let's see. <laughs> you can get that to focus but um yeah so these are the ones i'm still waiting on the other samples but these are different ones that are just really uh, pretty fanciful uplifting inspiring that you can have around and these are available in the merch shop and i'll put the link in the description box down below so it's really really exciting and i've got exciting ideas for other sorts of merchandise that i will be uh putting out right so moving on to the fabrics i'm going to start off with something that's a little bit different and it's actually from Hobbycraft. I've never really ordered from Hobbycraft, but I was reading 
um, Almond Rock so she used to be the editor of love sewing magazine but she's a really lovely person and i've met her in person a couple of times at some sewing events over the last several years or so and i still read her blog and she was writing about this absolutely gorgeous fabric which was from jewels and for those of you that may not know or may not live in england because i'm not sure if jewels is well known outside of the uk but it's a really highly aspirational brand and it's the sort of place that i've never really bought brand new clothes from there because they look a bit pricey but they always have these really lovely quirky fabrics and it turns out that jewels is now selling the fabrics that they use to make their clothes and they're exclusively sold on hobbycraft uh, so jewels are now actually selling two meter lengths of fabric that they've used for some of their own uh, clothes and stuff and i was particularly caught with their christmas selection called so ho ho and they had like some really gorgeous gorgeous prints and so i couldn't resist and i got two of them so i got uh this one this one is the foraged floral which i'll open just now and this one is the 12 days of christmas so the 12 days of christmas is one of my all-time favorite christmas songs um actually no it isn't it's my second favorite one my favorite one is joy to the world can't beat joy to the world but i love the 12 days of christmas um i guess i was like oh i'm gonna get it and it's a navy uh, background. The postage was super quick. I ordered it and it was available uh, within two days of ordering actually. So banging, absolutely banging postage. So these are, this is the 12 days of Christmas. Ah, and this is literally the first time that I'm actually seeing it and opening it up. But I loved the navy blue, it, certainly on the images that they had on there. I was like, ah, oh, my days. Love it. So, 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 so the flying, the ointment about these otherwise gorgeous fabric is that they're quite narrow. Uh, so it is quite narrow and you can't get them by the meter. You can only get two meter lengths at a time. So if you wanted to make like a sweeping maxi dress or something like that, you definitely need to buy two packs um, of these. But yeah, I thought that this would make some something really nice and quirky for Christmas. And I think that the colors suit for Christmas. So yes, I'm very, very happy with this. Um, and because um, I'd seen Almond Rock Souls review it, I was very happy to just go ahead and, um, and buy it. And so this one is the Forest Floral. So this one for me, I love it because it's got the pinks. Uh, no, not pinks, sorry, teals. It's got the... The teal, although it's got like some little pink berries over here and some little uh, red mushrooms, but I thought this would make a nice either shirt or a shirt dress. <laughs> I think it was something that I could uh, wear layered over my winter basic wardrobe, which is for warmth. Oh, look at that. So again, it is narrow so if you were wanting to do something more voluminous you you would need uh, more fabric and if you're somebody who's bothered about pattern matching across the zip or across center back seams you would need more but i'm not bothered <laughs> oh, i loved this and again just imagine wearing it with like a pink and fuchsia lipstick but yeah i quite quite like this and i think this will make for me a really nice autumn because I'm being so grown up, guys. I'm actually already thinking about my autumn wardrobe and actually starting uh, looking at what I can do for autumn. So I'm really quite happy um, with these. I will report back on how they behave after washing, pre-washing them because I haven't yet pre-washed them, obviously, because I just opened them. Um, and hopefully if I pre-wash them before I put the video together, I will talk um, about that. Currently, I have a huge pile of laundry to get through uh, with some of the camping stuff etc all right the next two pieces of fabric are from minerva and these are my brand ambassador makes wherein i select fabrics that i want to work with i create a project i take the pictures i write up about it and it's shared on the minerva website of which my page i'll link it in the description box down below okay so i have some black and white flock pointy 
here, which is, it's a really unique fabric. I've never come across fabric like this before. And it's flocked. So it's got like this texture here. So it's like a velvet thing. If you can imagine like a velvety flockiness and it's got this, uh, I want to call it I-cut or E-cut, but it re reminds me of um, I-cut with the diamond uh, square thing. It's got a quasi-stripe going through because of that and that, and it's on a gray background. So when I saw this, I immediately thought that I could work with some black contrasting fabric. Um, so yeah, I'm not yet clear about exactly what I want to make with this. It's probably going to be a sweater dress of some sort, probably, hopefully something that's got like a yokes that I can use a black contrasting fabric for it. It's, it, the backing fabric here is a pointy and that's where they've got the flocking on it. So it does have some stretch, stretch to it. However, it's not enough stretch to make a bodycon dress, you know, like one that really stretches out. It's not like a stretch, a super stretchy pointy because of the because of the flocking that you have here so you, as you can see i'm trying to stretch it out and it's got very minimal two percent i would say that this fabric you could probably use this for woven pattern fabrics ones that you know you'd have to use darts if you wanted to add fitting in it or if you wanted to make like sweaters baggy sweaters um, but you have to be aware that it doesn't have white as much stretch and i think if you did stretch it out you would ruin the lovely effect of the print so do you see but if you make it so that you've got something that will fit oh look at that <laughs> yeah so i'm not too sure what i'm going to make with this but i think it is going to end up being a sweater dress possibly oh or a cardigan like an extra long cardigan with a tie and pockets and maybe I could do the pockets in black there is an idea they literally just thought of that right now but I do think that it's got a lot of potential maybe even something with a hoodie but yeah so quite heavy weight fabric as well and because of the flocking I expect that this will be a nice warm one the other thing that I got is a navy background with a white splodge uh, fabric now do I remember whether this was a John Calder I think it might have been a John Calder, I think, I think. But it's a lovely viscousy fabric. So quite uh, rapey, a little bit on the opaque side. So it's so it is polka dot, but not quite a polka dot, because if you look at the print there, it looks, you know, it's got, it's got a charming little smudgeness to it. <laughs> which is me kind of dealing with my fear of polka dots. So I'm kind of making it polka dot, but not quite polka dot. So I'm thinking that this is going to be possibly a wrap dress. Um, yeah, possibly a wrap dress, but definitely something wintry. Or oh, a fall wrap dress like Burda 9 2020 number 120, which I've made before. And it's got like a, a fall wrap over here and then an elasticated waist. And it, it's such a beautiful dress. I love wearing the one that I made before in autumn. I made that one actually in a similar type fabric, which had an olive background and um, splodgy polka dots. Oh my gosh, I'm not as spontaneous as I thought, am I? All right, yeah, no, I need to figure out what to make. What would you make with a fabric like this? So as you can see, it's got really excellent um, drape to it. And it's not quite a super thin viscose that would struggle to make collars. To me, this looks like substantial enough to be able to do nice collars um, as well. But I do think that the color is gorgeous because it's navy and it's white. And I think it will work in autumn. So this is going to be like an autumn make. Or I could just have it as a scarf. <laughs> just a scarf, darling. <laughs> okay, so those are the... Um, two Minerva projects that I have a going. And the other one is more fabric from Pounds Fabrics, which I wasn't supposed to be getting, but I ended up getting, because I told myself I wasn't going to be getting more fabric. Then I started eating around the craving, and then I ended up just getting, you know, satisfying the craving thing. So with Pounds Fabrics, right, um, if you've ever shopped there, they've got like a plethora, a huge selection of different types of fabrics, and they are incredibly competitively priced. 
but they've got minimum order quantities on some of the fabrics and they don't have minimum order quantities on other fabrics. So the first one, I'm just gonna show you the most fabulous one. It's a coating fabric. So it is a wool mixed fabric, which is wool mixed with some polyester and other things and all that, which I don't mind because wool is a little bit of a diva um, for me. And I try to keep the percentage of diva-ish fabric mix in my wardrobe on the lower side because I do try to have a laundry system that's as simplified as is possible. But we have this, and it's a wonderful geometrically woven print. And it's got pink, and it's got black, it's got flecks of blue, it's got tiny little flecks of yellow. And then you've got some diagonal weaving that goes here. I would love to see the loom on which this fabric was woven, because I imagine it had a lot of different complicated um, patterns. It's got such a lovely selvage as well, a very nice looking plain selvage. And it does have like this um, silvery, I don't know if you can see the little metallic threads, and they catch the light ever so slightly, it gives it almost like a magical transcendental quality. So I got myself a whopping four meters of this because I think that I could make a lot. <sighs> I, I feel like there's so much I could ma make out of this now. It's scratchy. It is really, really scratchy. So whatever I make out of it is gonna need some lining unless maybe your skin isn't as sensitive as mine, but it is really <laughs> quite scratchy. So whatever has to be um, lined. And yeah, so this is actually the right side. So it's very subtle, the difference between the right side and the wrong side. Yeah, so this is the right side here. I was showing you the wrong side before, but it is so, so beautiful. Um, I have no idea what to make with this. I could make a pencil, um, like a, a set, a pencil skirt with a jacket that I would wear with like a white blouse or black blouse. Or I could make a pinafore dress that would, I would wear over roll neck. I mean, the possibilities are in there. So I could make myself a really nice coat, like a long uh, coat. Now, it does ravel, it does unravel quite easily. So this is the edge and you can see how lovely. It's almost very satisfying the way that it just unravels. So I do think that it does have the potential of playing around with having an unfinished edge like that, if that tickles your fancy. But yeah, I was very happy. I was very happy with this and I can't wait to see what I come up with in terms of actually sewing this up. So this is probably going to be more of a winter make and less an autumn make because I'm pretty covered. I'm well covered for autumn style jackets, sort of like lightweight ones. But this would definitely be a winter make because it's a it's a hefty, heavy, you know, strongly I will protect you kind of fabric. Okay, And then uh, the other one is... Oh, this really cute Rose and Hubble cotton poplin. I loved the navy background. I'm going through a navy background phase basically at the moment as I'm thinking about autumn and winter, clearly. But it's beautiful, lightweight and drapey. And I really like the floral posy print. Now, I'm really gutted because at first when I was looking on their website, they had it in this colorway and they also had it in a sky blue colorway. And I come up with this gorgeous idea of, you know, making a shirt dress that would play around with the different colorways, you know, and what have you. But then I got busy packing for the holiday and what have you. And then when I did remember to come back to place the order, actually, I was gutted to realize that in my basket, it was saying the sky blue colorway was sold out because I was like, no. But anyway, I got this because it's still lovely and I'm quite excited. I'm probably going to make a dress, a fit and flare bouffant style dress. I think I would like it to possibly be a cap sleeve, possibly be a cap sleeve with like a collar on it. <laughs> Love it. Nice and lightweight. And then oh, finally something for somebody else um, amidst all of this, just to show that I'm not always a selfish so seamstress. But I saw this, um, it's like a, a chambray fabric here. 
which reminds me of the Robert Kaufman Chambry fabrics um, that they used to sell a few years ago. You can't find them now because they do mostly linen and flannel with the Robert Kaufmans, but I quite like this. It is a light blue, a little bit of a shine, a little bit of a sheen to it. And this is gonna be perfect to make a work shirt for my, for my husband. So I've got enough for that to make him a shirt. And I'm going to be using Macau's M6044, which is a banging pattern. I've made it about seven times already for him. So this is going to be shirt number eight. And I can, because I've done it so many times, I can actually get it out in about two hours. Just, and then it will be done. Um, so, yeah, so that's going to be a shirt for my husband. And that's about that. The other thing that I got that's sort of sewing related is some fold over elastic, some ruffled fold over elastic, because I was planning on making a dress from um, Berda 9 2021. It's the jersey dress with the really nice boat neckline that you finish with a fold over elastic. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice if my fold over elastic had a ruffle? This just arrived today and sadly it's not, I can't actually use it as it's got this lovely frill, yeah. So can I get it to focus? It's got the lovely frill, but you can't actually fold it over, which is a shame, which is a real shame. So I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board with, um, with that one. I'm trying to remember if I've ordered anything else in terms of fabric. I know I was looking at rainbow fabrics. My friend Josie had suggested rainbows fabric and he has some lovely fabric on there and I'm still looking. So I don't know, we might be back soon. Anyway, I have to go check in on uh, the kids now. Uh, so I'll be back soon. Yes. Hello, lovely people. It's Thursday, the 2nd of uh, September today. And I just realized that A, we just finished a whole month and that B, I have to go edit the fabric vlog video, but it has just been incredibly, incredibly hectic. I haven't had any more fabric since the last section that I showed you. And to be honest with you, because I haven't been able to even get into the sewing cave or do anything with sewing, I'm quite excited about editing the video so that I can remind myself what I have and what sewing plans I had going. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for having stuck around until the end because you're probably going to see this after everything else but yeah it's been a fantastic august despite the fact that i wasn't able to get into the sewing cave we had a wonderful camping trip and it's been really wonderful and restorative and we've had nieces uh, nieces and nephews coming to stay over as well and i finally managed to get back into going to the gym which has been interesting i should do a separate video about that but uh, yeah, basically turns out that you can get fit to the point where you're doing triathlons, but if you don't use it, you lose it. And that's been quite a revelation for me. Uh, so I've been getting back into that and it's quite good to feel that I'm getting my uh, stamina back, which should mean more energy for sewing and for other life related stuff. I have been... Last night I was finalizing my order of the spring bulbs because this is the other thing that I love doing. So I'm going to be ordering my uh, spring bulbs from Jay Parker's. And this year I'm trying to make sure that I'm going to have early tulips, mid tulips and late tulips, among other things. Um, but yes, I'm really, really happy, really excited about that. And thank you again so much for watching. And thank you for hanging around and sticking around in uh, August from september after the kids go to school i will have more time and i do promise that i'm going to go through the comments and you know respond to the comments and uh hopefully you guys also had a lovely summer and are also excited about the coming fall and autumn and winter i don't know about you guys but i'm quite excited i'm looking forward to heading towards the winter solstice and this year i plan on doing winter intentionally so in the past i've always complained about winter and felt like oh, winter is my enemy but i'm gonna try and find a way to make friends with winter this year and just go through it gracefully and mindfully if that makes sense anyway lovely people take care of yourselves take look in on your loved ones and i wish you blue skies health and happiness and until i see you next time happy sewing bye oh um let me show you what i'm wearing today uh, this is 
it's a bird uh, it's bird something 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 bird but i've got it belted up Um, yeah, I've been actually um, wearing this. I think this is the fourth time this month that I've worn this. It's very nice and very comfortable. And I like how it moves and it swishes around. When it gets a little bit cooler, I will put on a Macau's M6844 uh, cardigan on. But hopefully we should be fine. Anyway, take care. Bye. Like, they probably do really well.